When you look at this party, the, the today's Democratic Party, it's controlled by fanatical ideologues who hate freedom. I've always been an independent-minded person, a Democrat, yes, but an independent Democrat. And my loyalties are very clear. I love our country. And I took an oath, both as a service member, as a soldier, as well as as a member of Congress, to support and defend the Constitution. And that's an oath that I take extremely seriously. And so when you look at this party, the, the today's Democratic Party, it's controlled by fanatical ideologues who hate freedom. They despise yes. the Constitution. They actively find ways to undermine our God-given rights enshrined in the Constitution, like freedom of speech. If you say something and I say something that they don't like, instead of saying, you know what, agree to disagree, live and let live in the traditional liberalist kind of way, no, that's not good enough. They will do all that they can to destroy you, silence you, smear you, work with big tech, work with corporate media to actively destroy anyone who dares to even question their agenda. They are against freedom of religion. They are hostile towards people of faith, people who have their own spiritual practice, especially Christians, finding ways to uh, be vindictive, to discriminate, to punish people who happen to exercise that freedom of religion. The list goes on and on, but the foundation of freedom is really what was at the heart of my making this decision, that I cannot be a member of a party that is against freedom and actively trying to undermine it. I can no longer remain in today's Democratic Party that's under the complete control of an elitist cabal of warmongers who are driven by cowardly wokeness, who divide us by racializing every issue and stoking anti-white racism, who actively work to undermine our God-given freedoms that are enshrined in our Constitution, who are hostile to people of faith and spirituality, who demonize the police but protect criminals at the expense of law-abiding Americans, who believe in open borders, who weaponize the national security state to go after their political opponents, and above all, who are dragging us ever closer to nuclear war. Now, I believe in a government that's of the people, by the people, and for the people. Unfortunately, today's Democratic Party does not. Instead, it stands for a government that is of, by, and for the powerful elite. Now, I'm calling on my fellow common sense, independent-minded Democrats to join me in leaving the Democratic Party. If you can no longer stomach the direction that the so-called woke Democratic Party ideologues are taking our country, and I invite you to join me.